Hello and welcome to the devotion for Friday, September 21st, entitled, A Satisfying Meal. Now, many of you all know that one of my favorite stories in uh, all of Jesus' ministry is the story of the woman at the well. This radical encounter where Jesus uh, uh, lets a woman who believes that no one could ever love or respect her know that he not only loves and respects her, but he can make her whole. And this all happens while the disciples are off trying to get lunch. And we read in John 4, 31, it says, uh, the disciples urged him, Rabbi, eat something. But he said to them, I have food that you know nothing about. Then the disciples said to each other, could someone have brought him food? My food, said Jesus, is to do the will of him who sent me and to finish his work. Do you not say four more months and then the harvest? But I tell you, open your eyes and look at the fields, for they are ripe for harvest. Do you want a satisfying meal? It's right before us. Jesus knew what was even more sustaining than physical food was an understanding of doing the will of his Father. And he said, if you want a big meal, just look. Just open your eyes and look. It's everywhere. Everywhere you look is the opportunity to find satisfaction, to be completely whole. You know, one of the most powerful things uh, lessons that we can ever learn in our life. And for many of us, we never learn this lesson. And that is, if we want to be healthy, help someone else be healthy. If you want to be able to have victory over your problems, help someone else with their problems. I love the opening to the movie Patch Adams, where he talks about, uh, as I was on a journey, I found myself lost and alone in what felt like a thick woods. He goes, I would eventually find my way back home, but in the strangest place. And then the scene opens with him in a mental institution. And the counselors share with him and the doctors who are jaded and cold and basically uh, are just going through the motions. And he finds that by helping the other patients, he began to get whole. In fact, later in the movie, when he's talking with the young lady he met uh, as he was training to be a physician, and uh, she said, I heard something about you. And he says that I was in a mental institution. And she says, uh, yes. And she goes, what did the doctors do to help you? He goes, the doctors didn't help me. The patients helped me. I found by helping them, I became whole myself. And he goes, I wanted more of that. And that's why I'm going to be a doctor. And he created a medical practice where every patient has to help another patient. Because he learned a biblical principle that when I help others, I get healthy myself. Look to the fields. They are white for heart. There is opportunity for a thoroughly satisfying emotional spiritual, life-giving meal everywhere we look. The question is, will we realize our greatest wholeness lies when we give it away, not when we hoard it up? When we love others, when we encourage, when we bless, we become healthy too. Patch Adams discovered it. Jesus declared it. I'm striving to live it. Let's open our eyes. The fields are plentiful. Father, we ask that you would help us to discover what Patch Adams discovered, to discover what Jesus declared in this passage, that when we give and love and serve and bless others all around us in the plentiful places where it can be found, that we find life that is truly life. Lord, let that truth truly transform us. Do your work in and through us in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, guys, I'll see you Sunday morning as we end up with stone soup. It's going to be good.
We're going to be finding out about the treasure that we all possess. See you then.